All right, so I uh, managed to get this thing off of the pallet. You can see it in the back. What a pain in the ass. I mean, these guys at CDC, back when they, I guess 1989, at, at the factory, did they not figure that we were ever going to take this off the pallet? I, I mean, I needed, I needed the, the sawzall. There's a wood chisel somewhere around here. I had to break wood. I had to chop things. Oh, what a pain in the neck. But it's off. But I get to do it again. Yes, it's another thing on a pallet. This is a unused, should be an unused, tape drive. Nine track tape drive. This is known as an LCTT. Low cost tape transport. And this was used with the CDC mini computers. Here's the tag. You see it's all wrapped up and we're gonna unwrap this. So, let me get out my uh, knife here and uh, let's open this up. All right, this is an incredibly dull knife. It's a cheap knife. So, you know, what do you expect? All right. This came from the same place. There we go. Put you there. And yeah, you can see all the other crap in the background. So, sorry for the mess. Oh, we got uh, this here to, to chop. So. Yeah, this is this, this, I mean, surgical, surgical quality sharp here. There we go. <laughs> oh, <boy>. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get this off. And get this off. Get this off. Sorry for the I'm seeing a bunch of tan right now. Golden harvest. I'm sorry, it's golden harvest. Alright, let's take a look at this guy. Here we go. It's the uh, me and the reflection there. Got some nice lights there. We got a nice control panel. And Control data, I.O. unit. So I'm kind of assuming this was probably a fairly standard cabinet. Um, you know, let's get, get you out of the way as well. See, it is taped shut. Now, what I'm going to do is, once again, take my uh, surgical quality knife here and just... Cut nicely like that. All right, the seal is broken. There we go. All right, here we are. The LCTT, and yeah, it's it's pretty much a nine-track tape drive. Uh, Low-cost tape transport, as opposed to the the. And these were not used on the mainframes, I don't think, because the mainframes used these guys. This is the ubiquitous 679. Um, they were kind of very much the equivalent of the IBM 3420s. And, uh, some say these were actually very nice drives. Um, oh, incidentally, I, I, one thing I do not have is the controller for these drives. I think it's called a 7021. That's on the most wanted list. Uh, anyway, let's look at this. Yeah, you can see it's, it's not, not really as high quality as... <laughs> as the other the mainframe stuff i don't want to say it's flimsy but um it's it's not clearly not um the same quality now uh this appears to be a door here i think this is oh, i think this is empty um let's see if we can open the back again sorry for the sea, sea of sea of tan how does one open this I see a little button here, and I think I'm going to need a screwdriver to push the button. There we go. All right, well, <laughs> there, there's the control panel. <laughs> Not real interesting. Now we have evil foam. You can see even when the stuff is brand or never used, it deteriorates. This is considerably worse than, than um, 
the, uh, the, the, the disk drive. So that's all coming out. And yeah, we can see it's, uh, it's empty in here for the most part. And <laughs> we have these, uh, <laughs> weights. They're, they're, they're essentially big honking pieces of steel. There's one on each side and you can see, uh, um, yeah, they're, 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 they're big. They're, that, that's a lot of weight because otherwise this thing would be incredibly top heavy. Um, there's a board in here. This is probably uh, the formatter, um, essentially kind of like the interface board. And I don't know if this one is for interface LCTT. I'll have to look that up. Um, I don't know if this was for the Cyber 18s or if it was for the, uh, the 1700 series. So either way, uh, I should be able to use this because, well, I have 1700 series machines. Of course, I did the video on the 1780 or 1774 recently. I have 1784s, which are newer generation. And then, of course, the, uh, the 2551 that I did a video about, that is essentially a Cyber 18 in, in uh, different clothing with special stuff. But, uh, all right, you can see, yeah, we still got stuff wrapped up. Uh, well, just like the drive, this looks like it was in a slightly moist environment, and yes, indeed it was. I, the uh, reseller had a warehouse. Actually, it was the basement of an old pharmaceutical place he rented out, and um, old building. And yeah, there were some moisture issues, I do remember that, so... Unfortunately, there is a little fuzz in this. So we'll have to work on that. But yeah, look at all this foam. It's got to go. It's got to go. Now, we'll assume there's electronic. Yeah, see, there's, there's some foam. But, you know, hey, it's still new, unused, still wrapped up, and i don't know if this has wheels or not and once again it's on a pallet that they probably <laughs> probably made no provisions for you actually getting the thing off i mean the disk drive took me a good hour to get that damn thing off um but yeah lctt low cost tape transport one of the nice things is i've got an awful lot of spare parts for this thing um you know, new panels, all the electronics, I think all the mechanical bits I have as spare parts. Uh, because he, he sold me, the guy sold me a, a bunch, bunch of stuff, um, you know, a bunch of parts and things like that. He was mostly scrapping the uh, CDC circuit boards. And, you know, oh well, you know, can't save it all. But um, I did manage to buy some from him and uh, uh, save, save some things as well. But all right, Let's, there we go, the LCTT, another new on the pallet CDC device. And uh, yeah, these new in a box, or <laughs> this is not really in a box, it was just wrapped. But uh, new vintage uh, mini and mainframe, the big iron stuff, yeah, you just don't see it. You just don't see it. So I'm very happy to uh, to have this. And, uh, well, I'm sure there's going to be all sorts of screaming and hollering as I try and get this thing off. <laughs> so, yep, I have to recharge the battery on, on the Sawzall, probably. In fact, let's take a look and see uh, what's going to be involved here. Yeah, yeah, see, you know, it's... Other people, other manufacturers... They didn't use nails, they used screws, and you just unscrew things and get the bits and pieces of wood out of the way. And you know, many of them would include a little ramp, you know, just, just a little you know, thick piece of uh, uh, plywood that you somehow hook on or something like that. But uh, no, not, not, not CDC. So thanks, guys. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, uh, there we have it. Another... Another new thing. I like those tags. I really like those tags. Too bad this one is uh, pretty generic. All right, well, 
I hope you liked the video and uh, leave a like and uh, yeah, maybe check out the past videos on on uh, some of my other CDC stuff. It's uh, kind of piling up because I'm, I'm in that part of the mine right now as I'm moving stuff to my new place here. It's not really a new place, but the new place. Uh, and we're at the, uh, the vein of CDC. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, leave a leave a comment if you've got something to say. The uh, the the disk drive um, video, lots of people talking about that uh, in the comments, and I'll try I'll try and uh, answer stuff uh, as I get the comments. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye now.